What's Reckonated and Angel here? We're here for Chess Rivals. Hang on. Chess Rivals and... Yeah. So... We're here with using the Lee Chess Olympiad format versus Harrison. And I think we are good. All right, let's get going. So, D4 I got versus him and white first game. So, he's recording too, so give him a sec to start his recording up. Currently, I'm 13 to 8 versus him. And hopefully this game's... Hopefully this game is pretty intense so we can put some clickbait title and nobody's gonna be mad about it. We got 1510 rated. Um, if you wanna see the match format, I'll post the link in the description for it. Okay, net of 6, C4. Um, I think I might wanna go back to these pieces, but yeah. Knight c3, g6, e4, so e, I've never known Harrison to play the King's Indian, but apparently he does. So d6, bishop e2, he's seen my line by now. So let's see what he's got. Knight c6, I want to see him do it. Castles and he's forced into e5 almost. Okay, yeah, so he's already seen my line, so he's not going to play it. But... Let's go bishop e3. Queen c2, but bishop d3 maybe. Or just d5, I mean. f5, you know, usually you would have the work on f8, so. He plays knight c5, I'll play knight d2. Because I don't want to give up this bishop. I want to keep the bishop pairs on the board. If anything, I want to get his bishop pair. Looks like he wants to sack. Huh. Let's go 91. Maybe... Shift the knight to d3, play f3, support e4. Um, I'll let him think about b5 if he really wants to do that. Because I can play queen e2, so after b5 I'll take it, a takes, queen takes, rook b1, and I can't queen e2. Maybe I'll screw. Maybe. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll leave Zug to it. What's he got? I'm questioning the music for some reason. Don't know. B6. Interesting. Oh god, Ed. Why is there another Ed? <sighs> Wait for that to go and then get back to it.
There we go. All right, so. I like A4. Uh, the reason I like this is because Maybe I wouldn't like it if the knight was on b8, because then it would be easy for him to get back. But after a4, a5, he has to spend an extra move getting to b4. So, and then b4, my knight is pretty harassful to the c7 square. And it's a bit annoying. And another reason to play this is if he doesn't play a5, then I'll play a5. So I think I'll play a4. But I have to be careful, I can't play knight b5 right away, otherwise knight takes e4. So I have to decide how I want to defend the e4 pawn. With my bishop, or do I want to play f3? Thinking with the bishop. But, f, I uh, know, I'm thinking with the pawn. Well, hmm. yeah, I'm thinking with the pawn. Because if I put bishop, I'll probably want to go g3 later, knight d3, bishop g2, f4 ideas. But, I mean, from what I'm seeing right now, if he's going to develop the bishop here, it's going to be kind of hard for him to establish an attack on the king side. And I think it'll be easier, it's easier to defend with a uh, fiend kettled bishop, f3. That's where I would play bishop here. But because he played b6, it looks like the bishop's going to be 7. So I think that's why I'm just going to stick with f3. Not as safe as a fiend keto. But I don't see any any attack happening anytime soon. So, in worst case scenario, I, after f3, I can just play knight d3, rook one g3, bishop f1, and bishop g2. If I really have to. <clears throat> Let's see, what's he got? What's he thinking about? Ugh, I have a loose tooth and it's bothering me a little bit. <laughs> Like I said, I think I want to keep this bishop, especially because he still has this bishop and it's in a few cutter. So what I'm thinking is either queen c2 or f3. I'm thinking f3. Although now this bishop, that would, that would make this bishop really bad. So maybe queen c2. Now I'm okay with this, I think. I got a challenge, huh? Okay. Ninety three, I'm thinking. And. I'm actually gonna play queen c, no queen b1, cause I wanna get b4. In. Actually, now that I think about it, it's actually a stronger move, cause now it's much easier to defend the c7 pawn. I'm just gonna decline that challenge really quick. Sorry, pal, we're kind of busy.
He's staying and taking his time. Yeah, that's cool, pal. That's cool. Um, he's got 11 minutes. This time control is... We actually feel like this is long for both of us, but people voted for this, so don't blame us. I can play Night Takes C5 here. Play D takes C5. Definitely. Hmm. I like Night B5 best. I don't want to give him any hold over the D4 or B4 squares. Because I want to reserve that for myself. I'm greedy, so give it to me or else. He's thinking. In under 10 minutes and I feel like I'm too fast I don't know maybe I'm just thinking too fast but I don't know what's up Okay. I think A takes here. Because now he has to worry about this pawn while I don't. If he ever pushes the pawn and before taking or removing this knight somehow, or after I move the knight, knight before, knight c6 would be quite harassing. He is under nine now. wants f5 after all. But I don't see how it can really progress quickly. Everybody, don't let me see your hands up. Everybody, don't let me see your hands up. Right now, right now. 
Hmm. Uh, my problem is I can't play queen d2 because knight b3. I can't play queen c1 because knight b3. So I'm thinking rook a3. And it might be good to rook lift or something. So yeah. Oh, missed it for some reason. Hmm. That's annoying. Very annoying. Knight of two. I'm gonna go for it. And then knight takes. Thinking G four. It's risky. For some reason, it's really peeling. Knight A three would be nice, but it runs into H six and hmm, kind of confusing what to do then. Maybe G four. I actually try. I think I like this line. No, no, G four right away. I think. Why not? What's wrong, G four? Maybe I'll throw an F four just to get this. Work over. Hmm. hmm. Under seven now. It's interesting.
I think there should be two. Yeah, I think that's the only option here. Uh, now it's interesting. There should be one. Can I play h3? Queen h4. Bishop e1. Doesn't look like I can. So now I'm thinking rook lift. We're under nine. We are under nine. I'm gonna go with takes. I think we have better hopes here. Maybe I can move the bishop around and get on this diagonal. Okay, now just King H1. We should be reasonably safe here. If we ever need to, we can bust the position open with B4. Now rook g1, I think. Definitely rook a1, I think. Just gotta really, you know. I think give up the file in exchange to get this bishop around.
link to Harrison's channel will be down in the description if you want to go check him out. Good chess player, as you can see here. Better than me, at least. He's squeezing me. You guys see that? Oops. <laughs> A very interesting idea right here is just play knight here and counter attack on the king side. I don't see how he can break through this except for queen h4, knight d3. But as soon as he plays queen h4, bishop e1 is coming at him. So I think that would be a very interestingly good idea. Here. Gotta decide. Knight here. Because almost guaranteed he'll play knight d3. Or bishop e1 right away. I think bishop e1 right away. Just keep a solidified position. Can break through. And then bishop f2 if I need to. And these two bishops plus the knight will be impenetrable. And then I play b4. And that's going to rip the king queen side apart. While his pieces are trying to attack on the king side. I'd say knight h3 is a bit passive, and when we talk offline or like after, um, he's or like before, like he's told me several times that he, he, it, it's fun for him to just like push his pawns, but here, as you can see, there's no little pawn pushing he can really do. He wants this square knight here, blocking both bishop blocks g2, and hitting the queen, and that's basically impenetrable. From what I can see, you really can't penetrate it. I'm looking at this right here. I don't see anything. Okay, I see something. I see a little bit of a sack. Okay, so Queenie 2, stop it. Queenie 2 just stops it. And then B4. Knight takes A4. It was on the board, but nope, not anymore. It's sneaky. That's a sneaky move right there.
What does he want here? Can I just play B4? Let's see what he wants. Hang on, so if he takes, takes, I don't see anything he can do. B4, we're going in. He wanted to push his pawns. We're going to push our pawns. Yep. So, Jesus, so many tabs, so many people are messaging me because we sent out, me and Harrison sent out reminders. I don't see what he can do here. The, the sack definitely does not work. I like triple checked everything. The sack does not work. E4 does not work, as scary as it looks. Nothing. Not as immediate as rook down and over. What? Oh. All right. That's pretty sneaky, I'll give you that. Rook a3, queen d3, and that should hold, I think. I think. I hope, I pray. Fifteen plus ten, he's thinking I feel pretty safe right now. An interesting idea he had before, like probably like here. Oh okay, no no, he played fine. An interesting idea would be H four knight G three coming in. What? What? Don't tell me this works.
can only play pawn takes. Because the alternative does not work. So what I'm thinking is takes, pawn take, bishop f2. Because your boy is a genius. Queen takes for sure does not work. Does not. No way does it work. Let's go for it. Wait. Let's do it. If he takes, I'm, not, I'm just not going to take it. I don't need to. Or I'll just play here. Queen takes, will defend. Nah, if takes, I'll just take here. Be safe, I guess. That's not safe, but... So many messages, people all over the place, questions about how to play your games. Ladies, gentlemen, and Leeches Olympia, you gotta discuss with your opponent before the deadline. Leeches does not have such a future yet. Until that time, you guys have to discuss. He's almost under a minute. Three minutes we got. This shows how tight it is between us two. He's good, man. He's good. G3 is an idea. If he does that, I'm just going to play Bishop. Pawn takes A5. <laughs> pawn takes A5. And it's not going to work. I can't play Pawn takes A5. Never mind. You know, guys, Let's take that pawn. Let's take that pawn. Bishop takes D5. Or bishop g2. Or bishop takes. Never know. Bishop takes d4. I'm really liking right now. He is push. Oh, that could be problematic. That could be very problematic. I'm going to pretend we're fine if we do this. He's probably going to find something that's going to destroy me, but... Oh wait, I can just take that pawn. I forgot my rook is here. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We are fine. We are fine. Don't mind me. Alrighty. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I thought I was fine. Oh my goodness, well. <sighs> oh my god, that's... That's annoying. Well... He's probably going to take game number one. We'll have to see. Hit the knight. Hopefully my bishops can make up for it, though. Oh, shoot. I messed up. Should have taken here. Now I might be in a world of trouble. Hopefully. Come on.
Oh god. Now nah, I'm just tilting. No idea how I made that mistake, but I'm just tilting now. Slowly but truly it's tilting. Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. I wish. I wish. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, of course not. I wouldn't accept a draw if I was in his position. Hmm. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna be lost. Hopefully he plays Queen F4. Queen F4 would be a mistake. Mistake. Queen E4 gets that rook. If I play here. Knight f4, coming in with the fork. Please miss it. Please miss it. Ugh. Please miss it. Made him. Made him. Oh. Made him. <laughs> Made him one. Made him one. Yeah, I mean. Okay, let's see if we can get him. So he can't record the whole series in one video. But psych, your boy can.
Okay, so I'm asking if he wants to just blitz the next one. I think my mistake. Where was my mistake? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna end it here. Um, definitely. Okay, well, bishop takes is an easy solution. Easy, easy solution. We're definitely better in this position, I'd say. Okay, we're not, but. Okay, so yeah, he's better, but. Good game. Yeah, he's just better. Um, I think taking the knight was really the problem. Yeah. Okay, no. Really. We're better here. Here. Just take here. Oh. Takes, takes. Then we can play bishop f2. We don't have to play it right away. And yeah. Okay, so... Thank you all so much for watching part one. Harrison takes the first game. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next.